Young Thug. Listen to me real good and listen to me real, 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 real good. These folks ain't playing with you, boy. Mm -mm. They got gun out the way now, so guess what? Ain't no way in the world you can say that YSL ain't a gang. He just admitted that y'all was a gang. He just admitted that you was the head of the gang. Yeah, yeah, I say, I said, man, golly, that's a cold pill to swallow right there. See, ain't no way in the world you can get on the stand and the judge ask you, young thug, is YSL a gang? You can't say no now. Because he just said that YSL is a game. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You're going to have to get him something. Yeah, you're going to have You can make us believe that you ain't got to do no talking and all that. But you and I both know you got to give these folks something. You got to give us some names. You got to do something. You think that you're going to go around and do all of the criminal activities you did and you think you just going to get out or get out of jail free card like the Monopoly game? No, man, it don't work like that. Mm-mm. Yeah, hey, I heard. Yeah, I heard, man. Hey, I heard them boys been in there trying to make you wear them dresses. See, remember? Remember when everybody was telling you about them dresses? And you was wearing them dresses all on the internet, putting on lipstick, painting your fingernail polish, intertwining your arms, drinking a glass like this while he drank it like that. Yeah, you thought you was using it as promotion. What? They made you a dress out of honey buns and ate it off of you. <laughs> Golly, young thug, how did you get yourself into this? Yeah, your baby mama. Boy, your baby mama got killed at the bowling alley. That's still one enough for you to start. You turn around a week later, you start talking about men that can't afford to take care of their kids. They don't need to see their kids. When do you stop, young thug? These folks ain't playing with you. They finna lock you up and throw away the key. So you can't fool me. You might come fool everybody else in social media. Might come fool everybody by saying... They dropping the alpha data, but they keep saying these certain words. They say the words that every time they say this word, I know you cringe. They say the words, and this is the words they say. Witnesses. Man, don't you know? It's some people that's going to come forward. That's going to tell exactly what y'all was doing when y'all was out in them streets. Don't you know you left a lot of bodies laying in them streets stinking. You had the whole Atlanta smelling. They read it off. I know they read about 10 bodies that your gang is responsible for and you the head of the gang. How do you think you're going to put yourself in a position to be the head honcho, but now that you the head honcho, you don't want to stand on it. That's what I don't understand. You done ran around Atlanta for years terrorizing everybody. You got everybody saying Young Thug is a real one because you take care of the neighborhood. But you also cause so much disruption and so much death and so much humane. You got your neighborhood in conditions that nobody want to live in. Do you know how many people they read off? On that piece of paper that you're responsible or your gang are responsible for that's done been shot and killed or attempted murder? Have you thought about all those bodies 
spread it out over Atlanta and all them different cemeteries. Huh? I wonder if some of them bodies over there would take off. See, he didn't deserve to be over there in the cemetery. But down there in Houston, Texas, mm -hmm, messing around with Quavo. Oh, you oh, you, you heard about that too since you've been in jail? What you think about that takeoff situation? Takeoff was your boy, wasn't he? I knew he was your boy. Yeah, y'all was cool, huh? Okay. But check this out, young thug. On a serious note, I want to tell you something. Do you think God going to let you just walk out that, out, right out that jail cell with no repercussions for what you did just because everybody on the internet say free him? Boy, you responsible for taking many lives. They shall not kill. You ignore those instructions. The Bible stands for basic instructions before leaving earth, B-I-B-L-E. I repeat, the Bible abbreviations, B-I-B-L-E, stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. You forgot about those instructions. The basic instructions before leaving earth. I want to make sure that you hear that, and I want to make sure that you comprehend that. You forgot about those instructions. They are not, they shall not kill. You wasn't worried about the killing. You wasn't worried about none of that. The only thing you was worried about is your game. We don't want to hear you make no plea deals. We don't want to hear none of that. I want to see you fight it all the way out to the end. That's what I want to see you do, young thug. I'm sitting back like everybody else. And I ain't going to say too much. Because you know, hey, this is your time in court. You fighting for your life and you fighting for your freedom. And I don't want to say nothing, you know, to... Mess your case up and somebody come see this video. Uh, me saying what I'm saying, they can mess your case up. But I'm going to tell you like this. All those mothers watching that case, just like we watching it. And they got to relive that day when they got that phone call and told them that their son or their or they nephew or their daddy had been murdered. And they found out later on it was due to your gang. It was due to your gang, young thug. Your gang is responsible for the deaths and murders of so many black men in Atlanta, Georgia, and so many of those counties down there. You got bodies everywhere. And now you think you just going to walk out because some paperwork don't match up? I'm not here to say you should get off or you shouldn't get off. Only thing I'm telling you is that God ain't trying to hear it. You done done a lot of bad things in life, young thug. A lot of bad things in life. A lot of things you can't go back and fix. You done hurt a lot of people. You done brought a lot of pain into a lot of people's homes and a lot of people's hearts. Ain't no happy feelings. Ain't no happy days for those mothers or those kids you kill. They don't get to get up on Christmas morning and open presents with their kids. And those grandchildren don't get to get with their grandmothers and, and their daddies and sit around the Christmas trees and open presents because you took that away from them. I look past the entertainment part and I look at what's right in God's eyes. And young thug, you got to get yourself right with the Lord. You got to get yourself right with God. I hate when something like this happens because the first thing we want to do is say free him how can we free a killer understand what I'm saying oh god Lee young thug you want go on and talk go on and say what you gonna go on and say it go on I'm listening I'm listening it don't matter if you didn't pull the trigger it was still your game it was still 
deal. You, you, you gave the order. You rented the cars. You bought the airline tickets when it happened to fly out of town. That was you. You called the shots. Everybody, everybody that's laying in the ground in those wooden boxes, stinking, you gave the order to have every one of those people killed. So don't sit here and try to act like you innocent, like we're going to forget what you did. The only thing I'm telling you is that we all sitting back watching. That's all we're going to do is sit back watch. We're going to watch, and we're going to watch how this plays out in the court of law. Yeah, we're going to see how if you get judged by 12, but all them bodies was carried by six. Black on black crime, young thug. Why did you get involved in black on black crime just today in Fort Worth, Texas? Tatiana Jefferson, the white police officer, got off with manslaughter for taking her life. That's only two to ten for a body. Why is it... Why is it when the white policemen kill a black person, we get mad in an uproar? But when a black rapper is responsible for killing another black man, we want to see him get free. We want to free him because he's a rapper. I know, man. Yeah, Tatiana Jefferson. You didn't know that? Yeah, Tatiana Jefferson, that police officer, got off with manslaughter. He might get two years and then still get to walk around free. And you trying to tell me you committed black-on-black -black crime and this man get manslaughter two to ten years and you get black-on-black -black crime for so many bodies in the ground in Atlanta, Georgia, that it smell like a sewage tank, a deceptive tank, because all the bodies are stinking and you think you just going to get to walk away because of some technicality with some paperwork and you don't understand we serve a mighty God. You got another thing coming, thug. I wish you the best, but God gonna get you.